Hey guys, I'm back with another tutorial and I'm going to show you what I'm going to be explaining today. As you can see it says draw a sine wave. If we do that, we got a nice little sine wave here. Alright, so how does this work? Pretty simply, um, starting out we get the graphics of course, so we can draw to the screen. We set up a pen for um, the line with a 7.0 float. And then we have an x and a y value and a y value. Now the x value will just be going linearly and we have a for loop for that so we don't really need to store the second x value. And as you can see we calculate for the first y value using math.signx and then we draw it and then down here we assign the next xy value to be the last xy value. That way we can connect all the dots. As you can see these are different lines so essentially we're connecting lines. Um, you'll also notice that I use float in the for loop and not int. Uh, and also 0 0.1 because that's more precise than 0.1. For instance, if I change this to 1 and I run it, we'll see that um, it's kind of broken up because these lines are farther in between. Um, so for more precision you do this. Um, and then of course uh, if we didn't have this it would be at the very top like for instance I'll show you. So this acts as a spacing to move it down so it's visible so it doesn't just draw it at zero draws it at plus 200 and as you can see down here I have it adding it to the value so that it moves it vertically downward and this thing if we had this set to like say 5 you'd notice that it's smaller so the multiplier is less this is basically just to increase the size of the line so that it's more visible as you can see. And I'm basically just multiplying all the values by that in this draw line function. So yeah, that's how you draw a sine wave, you know, a couple applications to that, um, especially when it comes to sound uh, and music and whatnot. Um, some other applications too though, but uh, yeah, so let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you want more shape drawing calculations or whatever. Uh, and that's the end of the tutorial for now. And I'm planning on uploading more this week. So be on the lookout for that. Anyways, bye.